Our top focus this evening, while it's a law now in Karnataka for all business establishments, whether in Bengaluru or outside, to have 60% of their signboards in the Kannada language, the state's culture minister, Shivraj Tangandagi, today made another controversial proposition and demanded that MNCs in the state will have to display the number of Kannadigas they have employed outside their offices. While the move is seen as a populist announcement in perhaps election season, the minister said a committee has been formed to suggest new rules to MNCs and industries in the state. The government also announced the launch of an app, Kannada Kabulu, which uh, one can register complaints against those working, quote-unquote, against the interests of the language and Kannada. While the politicians lap up such announcements in election season and there is concern over employment opportunities in for the local population there is also a concern that such moves and pandering to the Kannada sentiment could hurt Bengaluru's inclusive cosmopolitan image these are the political reactions and other reactions yes 101% kaigari ke doluga display board anna prati vandu kaigari kolaga aakbeku anta charchegalu aagta idave adu charchegalu aagide niyamagalu niyama maada hotnege niyamagalanna maartini adakku on samiti ide aa samiti adhyaksha nane iradana aa niyamagalanna maaduvanta kelsa committee already form yes already form aagide nane adhyakshu what do you make of this statement which has come in by the cultural minister I think that the government of Karnataka is under the illusion that there's a queue of MNCs waiting, knocking on the door, wanting to be allowed in to come and set up shop in, in Bangalore or Karnataka. They're mistaken. The whole world is competing for MNCs to come and give employment. Within India, many cities are competing. The Tamil Nadu government announced a policy in the budget to give subsidies up to 30% above salary level for new jobs created by MNCs. Gurgaon, every Gurgaon, Noida, Hyderabad are progressing. Last year, Hyderabad hired more people in technology than Bangalore for the first time in 30 years as per NASCOM. When all that is happening and there's an element of fear created by unruly elements in Bangalore or the Kannada sign board the recent past, if the government is making this again, I'm really astonished. What are they thinking? I don't know which land they were, they're living in. What are they thinking? I'm not able to understand. Please remember, industry is living in fear in Bangalore. Over three or four what? months, a group of people went all around Bangalore, bringing down signboards, you know, indulging in violence, abusing people by their uh, traders, abusing people. They went on the airport road and police were watching. Only right. after the floor was created, they were arrested. And government should protect people. Rule of law is impaired in Bangalore because of that. They're living in fear. On top of that, you want to put in. What will happen? If you if the right. in numbers, the same unruly elements will come. Demand okay. who, are, who, are, who are you, what are you? and indulge in violence, what is the protection? Why will people come? This is a very retrograde step. As Mohandas Pai there mentions, there is a fear amongst many that such statements and measures could lead to social chasms and intensify the local versus outsider fault lines in a global cosmopolitan metropolis like Bengaluru. Also, could it hurt investor sentiment? It's an issue that needs to be carefully and subtly dealt with. My colleague Pratibha Raman also spoke to a few young Bengalurian professionals. While many welcomed the move uh, and the push for language and focus on the local population, there were those who pointed out that it could just be an election gimmick in poll season. After tabling the bill about having 60% of the signboards in Canada, the local language in Karnataka is now being played up by the Congress government in terms of also asking MNCs and other companies to put up the number of Kannadigas who have been employed in their respective companies. This is a new discussion that is come in place, though the rules and framework are yet to be finalized. But then this has definitely hit the limelight. Now, is it an election gimmick or is it really the pride of Karnataka that is being played out by the Congress government? So what are your thoughts? Do you think that the number of Kanadigas to be employed will actually give more opportunities for the local youth? Uh, yes, I definitely feel that you know, local, local people will have more advantage to this, which I think should be done also because many of uh, Canada people are, are not getting jobs because, because of this. I feel it's a fair ask what the government is asking. Well, 
also with respect to the Lok Sabha election that is fast approaching, do you think that this is an election gimmick or this is genuinely something that... Genuinely. Yeah? This is, this is genuinely, ma'am. This is not a gimmick on any politician or anything, ma'am. This is the genuine because we need uh, Canada people should work in the Karnataka, ma'am. This is because we have we have to support the Canada people, ma'am. We are not supporting means uh, who will support us. That is. But when it that. comes to MNCs, there will also be challenges, right? Where are you from? So I'm basically not from Karnataka, but I also feel like uh, you you know we should keep the balance of things. Displaying Karnataka employees number is not a problem. So keeping balance of things will be great. Uh, and will be creating a good environment where all these, all the people of different parts of when the country. you have are people from other places also coming in, there will be some amount of exposure and learnings as well, right? Yeah, basically I am from Imachal. So for me to communicate with people in Canada and reading out the Canada stuff, it's a little hard for me. So I do believe this 60% of the role is good for the local language in the local community, but the people, migrants, if we see there are 60-70% of the migrants working in this city. So for them and their convenience, the board should be in the English, in the English and Canada also. So I do believe this is a gimmick for the 2024 Lok Sabha election as the elections are on the head and Congress wants to win it again in the state. So I do believe this. While one section of the people think that this is definitely an election gimmick and divisive politics that is being played out by the Congress government, there is another section that feels that this could throw up more opportunities for the local youth and uh, also playing upon the pride in a uh, state like Karnataka.